Hey everyone, Jared VK3VL here. I'm sorry you can't see my ugly looking face in this video, but uh, it's because I want to show you an advanced way of using your IC7610 so that you can monitor FT8 for a new one and participate in the rag queue at the same time. Now, you do have to have an accessory to do this smoothly, and that's the ICOM RC28. Um, now, it's not because of a limitation with the radio, um, it's because of a combination of things. Mainly, that WSJTX can only control the primary um, receiver and tuner of the radio. So, if you were to set up WSJTX like I have now, and then go and press the um, main sub button to change control, to change focus over to your sub receiver, um, sooner or later, WSJTX is going to transfer it back to the primary receiver. And it could be mid-tuning or it, I'm, I can't exactly remember what triggers the, the polling or the control of the radio, but anyone who's tried this will know it happens all the time. So the workaround is to have your RC28, like this one, and have it set to control the frequency of your sub-receiver. And that way you can happily tune around the bands without risk of WSJTX taking control of anything. Now, you may think, well, if you can't transfer focus of, um, you know, the radio to the sub-receiver, how do you actually have a QSO uh, on your rag tube? And so what you do is, once you've got it all set up into coding, I'm sorry you can't see everything, but you can see, uh, I wanted to focus on the radio, but you can see that my WSJTX is happily decoding the 40 meter band. What you do, is you enable dual watch, but you also press split whenever you want to talk on your rag tube. And that way, even though the radio shows it has full focus on your, prior, uh, on your main receiver, in effect, you're actually listening to and using your sub receiver. Now, when I say listening to, so as, you, as owners will know, um, you can actually listen to both receivers at once. So all you need to do to have the rag tube work is mute your main receiver and then turn the volume up on your sub-receiver. You then simply dial in to the QSO. In this case, I just use the RC28 to go to 7105 and there are some people in the background. And I can happily sit here whenever I want to talk. I just turn on split so it transmits on the sub-receivers or the sub-VFO's sub frequency and press the transmit button. That won't annoy WSJTX. Now, the key thing is, if I do see a new one that I want to, tip, want to go and work, um, you do want to get rid of split and only then click on it over here. So I'll go through that again, just because it might have seemed a little bit convoluted. And it is something you have to practice, but um, it's certainly a great way of getting the most out of your dual receiver radio. So what we do is, we open WSJTX up, we set it up on our primary VFO, we then mute the main VFO, we use our RC28 to control our sub VFO with dual watch mode enabled, so we can hear the sub VFO as shown here. That's the sub. This is the main. So you just mute the main, unmute the sub. As you can see, I oh, hopefully you can hear that. I'm tuning around. WSJTX is still decoding. And so, as, yeah, sorry, for the demonstration then. So yeah, you're, um, you just use your knob, tune around, and whenever you want to talk, now that it's all set up, all you do is you hit split and you talk away. So in practice, most times what I'll do, because I've worked, you know, um, over 200 countries now, a lot of a lot of keen DXs will be way higher than that, but that's what I've worked. Um, you leave it in split, you participate in your QSO using the sub receiver and the 20, RC28, and WSJTX is just quite happily sitting there in the background, not trying to change focus of your radio. It's still got control of the primary uh, or the, the uh, main receiver, so it's completely happy. And meanwhile, you're using split mode to say transmit on my sub receiver's frequency and you've muted the primary receiver, so you're receiving it, you're only listening to the sub receiver. 
that's how it's done. Now, <laughs> I know that's a little long-winded. Hopefully it makes sense. Please give it a go. I'll go through very quickly one last time, and that's start WSJTX, set it up on your primary receiver, mute your primary receiver, use dual watch to, to activate your secondary, your sub receiver, unmute your sub receiver, tune on your RC28, and use split to transmit on your sub receiver's frequency anytime you want to talk through the microphone, which I'm to show you here, and use don't use split every time you want WSJTX to transmit, you know, when there's a new one that comes up. So I think that's a really fun way of getting the most out of your uh, 7610. Yes, you do have to at this stage um, have an RC28. Hopefully at some stage the Hamlib authors um, or WSJTX people implement a way of using the sub receiver for dedicated um, FT8. That would be really awesome and actually was one of the things I wanted when I first bought this radio, but uh, we'll see. You can work around it for now, so that's something. This is Jared VK3BL saying 73 and catch you later.